We are continuing to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with a look back at a part of Chicago history that had nearly been forgotten. Nearly. WGN's Lourdes Duarte takes us back in time to the 1960s. Havana, Madrid brought an axe that energized the Latino community back in the 1960s. It was around for about a decade, but after it closed its doors, it was mostly forgotten until one Chicago woman went searching for its story. At the corner of Sheffield and Belmont sits Milio's Hair Salon. Known for shortcuts and decades of Chicago history. Whoa. Whoa, this is so great. Follow along as Carolina Loma Gibbs and her brother Luis take us back in time to the mid 1960s. This whole area over here was VIP sitting for dinner. When I talk about it, I just get goosebumps. Like, it's such a treasure. It's the black and white pictures that help tell their father's story. He was the second Cuban baseball player to come over to the Chicago White Sox from Cuba. While in the 1950s, Luis Loma was known for his pitching, by the 60s, he had created the hottest nightclub on Chicago's north side. My dad was the founder and owner of the Havana Madrid. There was connections to Cuba, so Tito Puente and Celia Cruz were here. Back then, there was no other clubs in, in the city like this. Carolina and Luis remember it well. They grew up in it. But the story of the club in what was then a Latino neighborhood had nearly been forgotten. Walk in Sandra Delgado. She brought it back to life in her 2017 production, Havana Madrid. The research wasn't easy, but she managed to create a timeline of sorts for the second story club that was the heart of the 1960s Latino community on the north side. As a place where they could dance to the music that was familiar to them and speak Spanish and you know it was a home of sorts a haven after it ended its run then became um, a folk club the quiet night which is documented after that it became a punk club uh, that was called Tuts and there's also record of that but not La Habana Madrid. Her hunt for any memory of the club led to books. There was not one Latino musician in that book that was about Chicago music in the 60s. It became um, an excavation of sort. It, it really shifted for me where I was like, wow, our history is not in the books. This history, unless you were there or you've passed that, that history on to your children, that's, it's gone. So is this like a ticket? Luckily, the Aloma family has been able to fill in the blanks. They used to have a big domino table and before pool, and a pool table before you would walk into the kitchen. What was once Havana Madrid looks much different these days. <laughs> but finally, what had been forgotten for decades made it in the books and even on stage. And the hair salon that now sits at that location wants to pay tribute to the nightclub that once called 959 West Belmont home. They are looking to add a small tribute to its front entrance in honor of Havana, Madrid. By the way, there are plans right now to bring that production to audiences across the country. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.